Good morning, guys. Sorry for the boob shot. There. Now you can see me better. <clears throat> I have some wonderful surprises for you. You have to forgive my voice. My voice is a little off. Good morning, Veronica. Good morning, Vanessa. <clears throat> How are you? I um, have a confession to make. <clears throat> Hello, Belle. Ami. Um, I um I slept all day yesterday. I got home about 3 a.m. Friday. Hi Tammy. I got home about 3 a.m. Friday. Saturday morning. And I crawled into bed and all I did is I rolled my suitcase my infamous suitcase that Thelma told you about I rolled my infamous suitcase to the back side of the dog cage <clears throat> hoping that my husband wouldn't see it <laughs> he saw it I went to bed I got up to use the bathroom I think twice I slept until I'd set my alarm for 10 o'clock. So I got up at 10 o'clock, used the bathroom, took all of your guys' packages down to the post office um, from the auction Wednesday, <clears throat> sent all of those packages came home stripped my husband says I can strip in five seconds anyway stripped and crawled back in bed I did not get up until about 20 minutes ago 30 minutes ago so I slept all day yesterday all day yesterday Except for getting up to take your packages to the post office. So. Yeah. It was a lot. The adrenaline alone will exhaust me. Yeah, Vanessa. Well, here's what happened. <clears throat> you all know I went and met the fantastic and fabulous Thelma. Hey, Sonia. Um, and we had fun. Oh, we had so much fun. Oh, we had so much fun. She is just fun to be around. And, uh, she's tiny. She's like this little, tiny, little gnome-like figure. She's just tiny. Hi, Tammy. Thank you, baby. It was fun to be with her. It was fun to be with her. And uh, <laughs> so funny. <laughs> in uh, <clears throat> in um, the video that <clears throat> I was taping, Thelma was down at the end of the hall. She was doing this. And um, she was trying to, she was, that was her way of telling me that any, you know, that any human being would actually understand that I don't know. But she was trying to tell me to tell you guys that we've been fighting. We've been arguing. Which I'm not going to do that anyway, because nobody would believe it. Mm. 
anyway, she is so fabulous, you guys. And uh, she is just a fantastic love. She, she's just wonderful. She's just wonderful. And I went full makeup, full curly hair. And within three hours, I was like, all my makeup had slid off my face. And my hair was like, like this and so I was like all right I gotta put my hair up because I just gotta put my hair up I said I don't know how you can handle I don't know how you can handle the heat because it was hot and you're excited, and you're goofing, and you're cutting up, and <clears throat> and everything, right? And, of course, I'm carrying 200 more pounds than she is, so it's probably why I was sweating like a pig. And I, I wasn't sweating, sweating, but I was, I was warm. And, <clears throat> and she's just sitting there all curly-haired and... Graceful with her glasses. And she had the most incredible purple eye makeup on, you guys. And it was so beautiful. And it lasted all day. Her eye makeup lasted all day. I'm like, I, I think she painted on. I really do. Because it was beautiful and it lasted all day. And, I mean, I looked like this. No makeup. No makeup. Tammy, you have an option. You have an option of being fat or skinny. You push like that red easy button. I want one of those bitches. Okay, you guys. So, I have a haul from Liz, Makeup Zombie. I have a haul from Thelma. Okay, you can't see her address anyway. I got a haul from Goodwill. I got a haul from Jerry, whatever his name is. We're not doing them all today, Lisa, but we are going to do my Chicago one. Oh, jeez. This is the bag. This is the bag that Thelma was talking about. Very nice handle. It's got a very nice leather handle here. Very nice bag. Very nice bag. This actually feels good on my back. So we're going to sit here for just a second. <sighs> feels good on my back. Feels good on my back. I love this bag. Oh, I love this bag so much. I just love this bag. Actually, I'm just holding it because it feels good on my back. Will that be my, my thumbnail? I love this bag. Okay. If you watched Thelma's videos, you've already seen my haul. Oh. Oh, my tester. I knew this table was, was lopsided. I knew it. Because, you know the jar I put all my jewelry in? Or the the fancy cup I put all my jewelry in? And I'll put it on before I go live or whatever if I don't have it on yet. It totally just slid. It slid. I knew this table was wonky. Yeah, there it goes. It's sliding. I knew it. 
I knew this table was wonky. Because my monitor was crooked. So, okay. <clears throat> I'm going to show you guys something. Maybe it's in my purse. Okay, apparently I don't know how this works. So I went here, there, and everywhere after Thelma left. And I am taking your guys' advice. I bought two. Okay, well, I went to a lot of different stores after Thelma left. Um, just, oh, I don't know what this place is like. Let's go here. It's not far from my next stop, so let's Uber. Let's visit. Let's walk to the next destination. Oh, strong coffee. Mm. Please tell me there's not other people out there that use don't use one full cup of coffee grounds for their coffee. Hi, Maggie Doodle. No, Vanessa, the bus ride was fine. I slept most of the time anyway. <clears throat> the gal that I met at the bus station, and she helped me make sure I got on the bus and all that stuff. She gave me, she goes, would you like a gummy? I said, sure, I'll take a gummy. Because we were talking about CBD oil, and I said, boy, you know, if I could have edibles, I would try edibles. And she goes, oh, you know. And then she goes, would you like a gummy? And I said, sure, I'll take a gummy. And I ate the gummy. I said, that was good. That was really good. She goes, you can't taste the pot in it at all, can you? And I went, I said, was that an edible gummy? And she goes, yeah. And I went, Literally, and she started laughing. I said, we're not in Michigan. She goes, no, it's okay. I'm like, no, it wasn't legal. I broke the law. I, like, broke the law. And she's laughing. She's just, oh, my Lord. This, I don't think I've ever seen a, a, a little girl laugh so hard. She was laughing so hard. And she's like, Mama, it's okay. It's okay. It's fine. Chill, Mama. Chill. It's going to be okay. And I was like, we're in Illinois. Is that a lot? I don't know. Anyway, I slept the whole way home. Just... And I had the last stop that I had made before I went to the, the back to Union Station was a coffee shop. And I got a dark roast and I had two large dark roasts. I drank two large dark roast coffee. And so I thought, well, I'm going to be up on the bus the whole bus ride home, right? And that little girl had asked me, well, what does it do? Because I told her about when I, I accidentally ate that half an edible cookie. I said, it just makes me sleepy. And she's like, oh. And then when I found out, hi, dude, I found out that I ate that gummy. I was like, oh, no, what's it going to do, right? I was like, That's what it did to me. So, yeah, put me to sleep. Slept the whole way home. Kicked my chair back. I'd wake up once in a while. Where are we? Go back to sleep. Wake up once in a while. Where are we? Go back to sleep. Yeah. Jude. Hey, Jude. Thank you for texting me back. I'm glad I didn't buy the longer burger baskets. 
I'm glad I didn't buy them. Yes. I'm glad I didn't buy them. Because you said not to buy them and I didn't buy them. So I'm glad I listened to you even though I hadn't talked to you yet. We'll get on to that in just a minute. <clears throat> So, yeah, so I'm seriously thinking about getting a hold of some edible gummies because they didn't taste bad at all. And I could eat a gummy every night before I go to bed, and I would sleep really, really good, I think, instead of waking up going, ah, and then trying to figure out how to reposition yourself without hurting yourself so you can go back to sleep. That's what it's like. Sleeping with fibro. And you wake up and you're, ah. So then you roll over on your back and, and you try and get on your other side without hurting yourself. That's what it's like to sleep with fibro, guys. Lori says, exactly, Kelly. Yep. So I think that I might try and get some edible gummies. And, uh, yeah, Jude, you got it. And um, take one before bed. I remember when I was young, my husband and I would smoke a joint. This was, um, hey, me, you. This was back when I was 17, 18, 17, 18. I think the last time we smoked a joint, I bet it might have been 19. Yeah, thank you, Lime. I appreciate that, honey. Um, it used to, I was listening to my dog, it used to just make me horny. We would smoke a joint and that would be like all over my husband. And now it just makes me sleepy. <laughs> apparently. Apparently now it just makes me sleepy. Uh-oh, really, Lori? <clears throat> yeah. Looks like we have all the same things. I don't have cancer, though. Thank the Lord. And I'm so sorry that you do, baby. I'm so sorry. That you have to deal with that. Do you ever come to our Bible studies on Tuesday? They're on P Pittsburgh's channel. P-I-C-K-S-B-U-R-G-H. I'm definitely going to pray for you. So, if you watch Thelma's channel, you've seen this already. Well, some of it I have in my purse and I'm not getting up to go get it. But we are going to go through this bag. So Thelma picked out some things for me before I even got there. Um, that's okay, Lori. And she thought I would like this, and she was right. This is... What on the garbage? This is... It says Jin Mi. It is a little coin purse. She knows I like wallets and coin purses. And it's got three sections. This was three bucks. I guess a buck a section. It's got two sections. One here and one here. But there's something very satisfying about opening up a change purse like this. I love to open up things like that. Probably because it's so easy for me. And it's it's pain-free. It's pain-free, and it's easy. It's easy to do, you know. So I got that. That was $3. Now, I'm just going to tell you straight up. I didn't get anything at the second store. I had all these beautiful Lunker Burger baskets and everything in my cart. And I didn't get them because... Jude hadn't gotten back to me yet, and she's the expert. And it just, I had a weird feeling about it, and I just was like, no, I don't want to. 
I'm not going to get them. I just had a weird feeling about it. So I didn't get them. And the other find that I had was a 1960s percolator, but it was plastic. It was from, was it from Sunbeam? I can't remember, but it was plastic. It was yellow, had never been used, had all the parts in it, had the cord. And I was at the register to buy just this one thing. And <clears throat> that in a pin, that in a three leaf brooch and I saw it and I about cried on the very bottom it had a crack I was so excited about this percolator I was so excited and then I found a crack and it wasn't like a scratch on the outside it was a crack on the inside too so that would have leaked and so I couldn't get it I was devastated, and there was about 14 people ahead of me in line, and I was like, I'm not standing in line to get this brooch, so I just set my things down and, and left. Walked outside, figured out where I was going to go next, and then called my Uber. Why did that do that? Is this a French press? I assume this was a carafe. Oh my gosh. It's a French press. It's not a carafe. It's a French press. I know. I love Thelma's French press too. In fact, I think I'm the one that picked it up off the counter, off the thing. You went, know, ooh, a French press, and gave it to her. Hi, Becky. So, guys, here's, here's a funny story. I've always wanted a French press. I've always wanted a French press. Well, so my comping on this is totally wrong now. Because I comped it as a carafe. And they comp for like $20, $25. But this is a French press. I have no idea what they comp as a French press. <laughs> but I think I might just keep it. It was meant to be. All right, guys. I never even comp this. But for some reason, I really love the game Monopoly. And this was just so cool. These little cards. Because I get to play Monopoly and I want to buy every property. And so these little property cards, they got me. And then, of course, I mean, jewelry. You know, we know we're all about the jewelry, right? Mm -hmm. So I was like, yeah, no, I was meant to have this cup. And I thought, if it comps good, I'll sell it. If it doesn't comp good, I'll keep it. It's memories. Morning, Jennifer. Vanessa, we were so sad. We talked, we talked so much about you, Vanessa. Hi, Barb. How are you, Barbara? Um... And I was telling her how I cried when I realized, because I thought somehow I would, I thought somehow I'd figure out how you could be there. And I was telling her how I cried when um, you couldn't be there. Vanessa, you're not important to me at all. I just want you to know that. You mean nothing to me. Yeah, I believed no one ever. Ah. <sighs> Vanessa knows how much I love her. I love her very much. And at some point, the three of us are going to make it. Although I've got to lose weight so the three of us can fit in the back seat. 
Yeah, I know, Lori. I love you too, baby. I had the best Ubers. I had one Uber that when it was pouring down rain, Thelma had to like knock on the back window because the dude had the door locked and it's pouring down rain. He didn't get out and put my suitcase in the in the trunk, but he did pop the trunk for me. I still tipped him. So okay, I was gonna flip this, you guys. Wow. So not only was his leg chipped, but now his leg fell off. He's a three-legged dog. And this wasn't even the chipped leg. Boy, buddy, it's a good thing you're with me now. You're with a good, loving home, somebody who breaks your leg. So the story of this guy was, I thought he was beautiful. And I thought, well, maybe I'd try and flip him. He was only two bucks. And everything at that thrift store was so expensive, you guys. And I thought, oh, he's so pretty. He reminded me of a, a, a border collie that, or um, not a border collie, the other kind of collie. A mixed. It was a border collie beagle. But, because this dog feels better when I scratch him on the nose right here, guys. He just, he just does. He's cracked right there, too. Somebody must have dropped him. Anyway, I found out he had a chipped foot right here. See the chipped foot right there? And that's the cashier did that, but he had an old chip right here. And I didn't see that. But now, apparently, I broke his leg. Probably on the bus. It probably happened on the bus because... The bus driver was throwing our bags. I was like, dude, I have precious things in that bag. He's like, I'm sorry. And so the next time he was careful with my bag. But the first time he picked it up and bam, he like threw it down so it would slide to the back. Okay. I got some beautiful things. Boom. Can you guys see? There you go. Isn't that pretty? Now this one, I don't know. I don't know what it is. Because... <gasps> Vanessa, the foot stands for your bad foot. Now I got to keep the damn thing. Thanks, Vanessa. Now I got to keep the poor thing because now it represents you. I was going to throw them away. So this does not say alpaca. It does not say Mexico. It does not say Paxico. It doesn't say anything. So I'm going to test it and see if it's silver. Not right at this specific moment. Because the way this is made, I mean, it looks artisan. And, I mean, it looks like silver. So, I'm going to I'm gonna test it for silver. It could be alpaca. But it's not stamped alpaca. But it's beautiful. And then, I got this one. That was, I think that was $5. Or $4. This one was $3.73. And this one has the alpaca Mexico stamp on it. See how beautiful? And this one hooks right here. right there <gasps> I almost knocked my French press off and then I got this beautiful brooch you guys for 4 dollars 
I think I like this better than the leaves one. Maybe, maybe not. Plus, I was all depressed down the left. Isn't that gorgeous with all the uh, uh, enameling? Isn't that beautiful? You guys know how I love enamel brooches. And then I got this. Look at this big pen. I love big brooches. I love big brooches and I cannot lie. You other mothers can't deny. When mama sees a brooch and it's great big big, she wants to buy it now. So I got this. I love it. it has you know little rhinestones. It's missing one little rhinestone right there. See the dark spot? But I don't care. And then for the Ode to Resistance, I paid $6.56. The one thing I will say about that thrift shop, the labels that they use for their prices are very thick, so they're not going to fall off. This is the back. It's just various chains. And then on each side, it's got this detailing and then it has these pearls the thing that i like about these pearls they're real the pearls are real real they're real hi leticia how are you you knew i was gonna sing that barbara that means that you just know me a little too good uh-huh Twenty-five to forty, the new ones. Well, I think I'm gonna keep it, Jude. You think I should keep it? If you think I should keep the the French press from Starbucks, put a one in the chat. If you think I should keep it, I've always wanted one. If you think I should keep it, put a one in the chat. It was supposed to totally be, <laughs> you guys. You guys are terrible for my business. Just terrible for my business. Isn't that beautiful, guys? It's beautiful on both sides. Look at that. And I have a necklace that matches this. Well, it sort of matches. It sort of matches. I thought it would match a little better, but... I guess I'm keeping it. I'll go thrifting with you, Lori. Where do you live? If I can go to Chicago, I can come to you. Where do you live, Lori? Give me your coordinates. I didn't even wear any jewelry to Chicago. Not one stitch of jewelry. Because I have a tendency to lose jewelry in thrift stores. Because I'll take something off to try something else on. Okay. So my last stop of the night, you guys. Oh my gosh, Nancy. I feel so blessed and honored to have been able to spend the day with her. She's a wonderful person. The only thing that could have made that day better is if Vanessa could have been there too. And the three musketeers would have been together. But um, other than that, it was a perfect day. There's like nothing better than being with friends. And I cry, I know, because I'm a big freaking crybaby. But I'm sorry, you guys. I'm really sorry. I think I need hugs from the, the pillow Aaron Marcus sent me. Mm. 
I feel better now. Just let me have this moment. I'm grateful. Yes, Vanessa. I would love to be with all of you guys. I would love to be able to be with all of you guys. All of my lovelies. That would be so wonderful if I could be with all of my lovelies. Look, I don't have a double chin anymore. Who needs plastic surgery? They just need a stuffed dog from Aaron Marcus. Thank you, Nancy. Aaron Marcus bought this for me. As you know, Aaron Marcus is the, the soldier that we were trying to get everybody to vote for so he can get his teeth fixed because he had some teeth damage while he was in the in the service. And um Bye, Leticia. Mwah. Thank you, baby. My voice has gotten better since I've drank coffee. Usually the heat will make my voice better. Um And he thought this was a pug. He thought this was my dog. So he sent this to me. He bought this for probably 50 cents and spent $8 sending it to me. But I said, no, that's okay because, look, I can tack the ears down. There's my dog. Look. I can tack the ears down, and there's my dog. So I said, hey, that's no big deal. Joanne's Fabric and Crafts, 50% off one item. Except they don't count the Brothers Scan and Cuts, and they don't count the Crickets, because I'm going to buy one. I don't think so, because I don't normally have pain here. So, <clears throat> okay. <clears throat> so I have taken your advice. When I was at the coffee shop, I bought two journals, and of course they were expensive because they were at the coffee shop. This one was $9, but I'm going to take your guys' advice. I am going to take this journal, and I'm going to write to my granddaughter, Belle, every day in the journal, and then when she's older, she'll know how I felt about her so this is going to be kisses for Belle this is going to be for her journal <clears throat> okay who wants to see what's in the bag this bag was $7.57 and you guys saw I'm sure you saw because you watched Thelma's um Oh, fibro's rough on my neck. Terrible on my neck. She let me pick. She got all of the jars, you guys. All of them. Oh. Or not the jars, the bags. She got all of the jewelry bags, right? Look, you guys, I spilled coffee on it at the coffee shop. But these were all the the addresses of places that I wanted to go. These were places that I thought we could go, right? Waste of time. Because Thelma already knew where to go. And these were places I had highlighted to go with these. Waste of time. She knew where to go. It wasn't her first day at the rodeo. So some of these I'm going to send to her because she wanted them. I'm going to send this to her. Don't tell her. To my friend, the special little angel is being sent your way, a guardian of goodness to protect you every day. A lovely little angel as precious as can be, a gift of love to someone who means the world to me. And for this to be the first thing that I pull out, right? 
Should probably put it in a craft bag. Isn't that cute? Look at that. To my friend. Coming to a craft bag near you. go clink <laughs> I cra I cra I cracked myself up <laughs> Oh that's not my coffee and this one that I, I bought this at the auction. Todd had this, um, the flippin' hustler. He had this at his auction and I bought this for five dollars because I'd always wanted a craft and I figured a restaurant craft must work great, right? So I bought this one and then he had his big blue one that he always uses, right? He had, does keep coffee hot. He has this this big blue one that he uses all the time called Big Blue. And he signed that one. And Greg from Chicago. I forgot to call Greg. Oh. Greg from Chicago Hustle. I meant to call Greg when I was in Chicago. I forgot to call him. I could have called him after. <sighs> anyway, Greg Chicago Hustle was in a bidding war with somebody over Big Blue. And um, he bought me Big Blue. So now I got Big Blue. And I've got that one. So now I have two crafts. Hi, Denise. I missed you, too. Oh. Listen, Thelma and I are the very same way when it comes to going through craft jars. We can see beauty and value in things that we may not normally like for ourselves. But we can see beauty and value in it. We both look at um, a piece of jewelry as art. And it's hard not to find value and beauty in art. And the first thing I pull out of this craft jar is something that I think would be absolutely um, trend-setting. And the workmanship in this piece, and the art in this piece is so absolutely beautiful. I think you'll all agree when I say that everyone should have one of these and that it is a pure classic. So, here you are. Everyone should have a monkey on a stretchy band. Okay. The, the, the color palette in this piece is truly amazing. And the mouth, the design and shape of the mouth alone is so unique. You know, you guys, I'm playing with this. But I am not in any way referring to Thelma when I say these things. This is me, okay? Because this is what I do. I find the positive things in pieces. I'm not referring to Thelma at all. So if you think I'm making fun of her or mocking her, I'm not. It has nothing to do with her at all. That's I'm just saying that she and I both like to look at the positive things in pieces. <sighs> But 
And this is by Paul Frank. He is a famous designer of monkey face, rubber monkey faces. 2012, it's almost vintage. I think I'll send this to her, though, so she can... Well, by the time she gets it, she won't be with her grandkids anymore. Aww. Birthday girl, how old are you now? You look just divine. I bet you're no older than a mere 29. Isn't that cute? That's a little stick pin, you guys. Doesn't have a thing, though. I collect stick pins. I don't know if you knew that about me. I collect stick pins. And look, it's got blondish hair, gold hair. If I paint that silver, that could be Thelma. She still has makeup on. If I painted her hair silver, if I got silver hair nail polish, that could be Thelma. Her arms aren't that long, though. You've seen that artist before? Yes, Tammy. I like hat pins and stick pins. I don't know what's wrong with me. This is a magnet. Jamaica man. No problem. Jamaica man. I'm putting this. You know where I put my magnets? I um. I have a stainless steel refrigerator, so magnets don't work on there. But. I have a, a computer that's metal, and all of my staple or my staples, all of my magnets go on my computer. Yep. Aww. Oh, this is a hairpin. Hang on, you guys. I'll be right back, okay? I thought it was a brooch. It's a hairpin. I'm going to use that. I'm going to boil it. Hang on. Scrappy, can you come talk to the people? Can you come talk to the people, Scrappy? Ask him any question you want.
sorry. I'm sorry. Thanks, guys. What? You want to eat breakfast? Hey, you snorted. <laughs> the hideout of Tella, he doesn't look... I had to go potty. He doesn't look like he wants to, to answer questions. Is Aaron Marcus here? Boy, Aaron Marcus pops in and he sees the pillow. How perfect is that? Aaron, I, ha I had a moment of crying, and so I grabbed, I grabbed my pooch and was hugging him. Yeah, Scruffy got hit by the door. I love my poochie. I was showing everybody, Aaron... I got to pin the ears down. That's the only thing I got to do is pin the ears down. That's my doggie right there. There's my doggie. See, at least you guys know when you send me things, I really do truly appreciate them. And I love them. And I appreciate them. So, you know, in the gifts that I get in the mail, I truly make a part of my life because I'm so touched that people spent money to send them to me. They are parts of my life. But I, this dog is not allowed in the bedroom. He's not allowed in the bedroom because that is his sacred place. And if you're not a husband, a wife, or a dog, you're not allowed in there. Especially since another man sent this to me, even though it was sent in friendship. This goes on the couch when I lay on the couch. This goes on the couch with me, or he stays in there. So, for good reason, because I needed to cuddle. Well, actually, I had him up here. He was leaning against the, the computer screen so he could see outside. Ooh, here's a brooch. So, welcome, Aaron Marcus. I'm just sharing what I got in Chicago. Wreath of Hearts with Blessed mir mir Miraculous Metal. Wreath of Hearts with Blessed Miraculous Metal. An ornament for coat or dress that shows devotion to our Blessed Mother. Aww. Paid $124.77. So whoever bought this paid for it in 1977, you guys. I don't want to take it off the card because the card authenticates it, but I want to put it on my board. How pretty. This is cute. Okay, uh, bugle beads. Here's a cute little, oh, it's got leather on the back, you guys. Here's a cute little pin, a bow pin. Made with gold bugle beads. It's really sparkly. You know what I like about this? It's got leather on the backing. So it's homemade. Somebody made this. That is pretty cool. I almost want to not, I'm not going to, but I kind of want to see how this was made and constructed. I'm going to have to ask Gianna. Because I would like to try my hand at beading. Oh, this is a... Oh. Why would they put a clip-on earring on here? Just so I could break it. I don't understand this. Okay, so... I don't understand this. It's an angel. And I'll bet you this was her earring. Because it's clipped to it. You can't take it off. So I'll bet you this was her earring. Isn't that an angel? It's got silver wings. Shh. 
You're supposed to focus now. Wow. Now something like this. This belonged to somebody. And this was made in memory of somebody. Now what do I do with this? I think that this is absolutely beautiful, gorgeous, and I feel totally guilty even having it. I love the cabochon they used. Isn't that a beautiful blue cabochon? But it's not like I can rip her head off and use it for something. Denise, would you like this angel? I would love to send this to you. Email me your address, Denise, and I will send this to you after I fix it. Aaron Marcus says he found a bracelet that is neat. It sells on its website for $400. You can't find it resold anywhere. Reproduced 0 .380 brass bullet cap bangle bathed in black RCZs. What's an RCZ? Is that a, a bullet? Ooh, look at this. Ooh, it's got writing on it. Oh, CZs. This guy only was thinking bullets because you were in the military, Aaron. I'll be honest. Made in something. This is gorgeous, you guys. This is right up my alley. I just need to touch up the leaves a little bit. Check it out. Is that not gorgeous? Look at the enameling. I need to touch up the enameling right here. I love that. I have to restart my collection up because I sold the other one on MSP. Look at this ceramic homemade bunny. Oh my goodness. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to start a little collection of jewelry for my granddaughter. And I'm going to put this in it. I just thought about doing that. I'm going to put it. I'm going to start. Hi, Carla. You have no idea. Yep, email me your address, Denise. It is made by Bullet Girl. Wow, I don't know anything about that, Erin. Oh, the apple's messed up. I guess it could be touched up. This is perfect for Thelma. Focus. And bam. When I say bam, it's supposed to focus. There we go. That's a beautiful pin, except for that right there. But you know what? She's got nail polish. Lord, she's got nail polish. School diploma ABCs. I love the, the globe. Yep, I'm going to send that to her. There's some in here that she wanted anyway. There were some in here that she wanted, so... That will go to her. Oh, wow, you guys. Okay, so I decided, and you'll see, not today, but tomorrow, I'm going to do a haul from Thrift Zombie. I bought a bunch of glass jewelry from Thrift Zombie because I just, I like it. And I've sold all my pieces. And, um, oh, this one's America. I have to send that to Thelma. Um, so I just want to have a little jar filled with my, my glass jewelry. And, um, 
and this will fit right in there. Oh, and it's signed, Vivek, Vivek, V-I-V-I-K, and it's a pin. So do I put it on my board or do I put it in my thing? Look at that, and that is inside, or maybe it's painted on the outside. But when you're looking at it, no, it's on the inside. It looks like it's on the inside. Well, what creepy painting techniques did they use to make it look like this was on the inside? Does that not look like it's on the inside? It looks like it's on the inside. Maybe you can't tell. But then when you turn it sideways, it's not. But it looks like head on, it looks like it's on the inside. Look. It doesn't take much to entertain me, okay? You could put me in a room full of kindergartners, and then I'd be right at their level. Did I hear about the huge explosion yesterday in South Florida? I heard there was an earthquake a couple days ago. I thought that was California, though. Oh, Denise, I'm sorry, baby. Here, it's hipflippinmama at yahoo.com. But let me find my mouse. So I'll, I'll put it, my desk is so messy, you guys, because I wanted to do that shipping and everything for you guys. I wanted to get your stuff out to you. There you go, Denise. Hip flipping mama, just like my my YouTube name at yahoo.com. So I just realized, you guys, I spelled mama wrong. M A M M A. It should have been M O M M A. Mama. <gasps> Vanessa, tell us right now what happened. Where was there an explosion? I love you, Denise. I do love you. I love you. I love you. I love you. M-A-M-M-A. -M -M -A. You, Vanessa, I'm waiting. Yes, I'm glad you're okay. There I was sleeping. Oh, look, look, guys. Looks like I have a cat eye. A killer cat eye. I know how to do makeup. No, I'm not doing Asian either. And even if I was doing Asian, I would be allowed. I've had a little Asian in me for 34 years. You can't help but have Asian rub off on you when you live with an Asian. Amala <laughs> Plantation had a huge gas it's Oh my goodness. <gasps> oh no. Vanessa, I'm so glad that you were not close to it. I'm so glad you got out. <gasps> oh my goodness. And why did you not call me and tell me so I could talk you down from the the nerves and everything? Why didn't you call me? Of course, I probably would have slept right through it, but still you could have called me. Oh my goodness. I could change it, Aaron, but I'm not going to. Oh, my goodness. Okay, so now that the serious stuff is over with, the reason I cracked up laughing so bad is 
I thought about what I said really quick. And what I said was, I've had a little Asian in me for 34 years. But then the dirty side of me thought about, I've had a little Asian in me. But my husband's like five, eight and a half. So he might be little in stature. But and he was my first, so I'm not an expert. But he's not a little dumb. No. So, I haven't had a little Asian in me for 34 years. But he was my first. But this is all I know. After being stretched out, having two kids, he still does the job very well. He gives me a lot to work with. That's it. So, I didn't want anybody to think he was little. Because I said I had a little Asian in me. No. <laughs> I'm so happy to be back with my babies. I'm so happy to be back with you guys. Oh, I love you guys so much. I missed you. I missed you. Carla thought it was funny. Uh, I'm getting a little too deep. <laughs> Maggie! Maggie says you're getting a little too deep here. <laughs> Larry says the gummies to blame, just saying. Oh... Uh, Oh, Jennifer, yeah. And I told my husband to start watching my YouTube, too. <laughs> oh, oh, my Lord. Hey, Patricia. I'm so happy to be back with you guys. And this is why my videos are two hours long. To get through a bag of 30 items. Oh, no, my coffee's gone. But it, Graph really does keep the coffee hot, you guys. Well, Gina, come on. You know what I'm talking about. If you've had kids, you know what I'm talking about. Things cannot go back to normal after you give birth. Okay, this was one that, that Thelma wanted. This one right here. She wanted this one, so she's going to get this one. This is beautiful. This needs to be... I'll let her do it. Ooh. Ooh. Okay, if this is... Look. If this is meant to be an angel, this must be a male angel. Okay, so if these are arms... Oh, no, these aren't legs. See what I meant by male angel? It goes like this. <laughs> okay. This is a head. That's a head, people. Would you just stop it already? Okay, so that's the head. Your baby girl's having her first, oh, your first grandson at five tomorrow. Oh, congratulations, Lori. Yes, God bless that you get to be there. It's an Asian male angel. This is actually really pretty cool. Because that's the head. And this is really pretty. These are glass. So this would be lamp work, right, guys? I'm trying to learn. So because this is glass and it's got the bumps and everything on it. Help me out here, Jude and everybody else. See right there, the nubs? This is lamp work, right? 
Nope, it's not an angel. It's just... I don't know what it is. But that's lamp work, right? Your husband wants to be called grumpy. Somebody answer me, man. Is that... I'm not stoned. This is lamp work, right? Thumb was always talking about lamp work. Thank you, Jennifer Hayes. The bumps, yes. Maybe those are wings. That's pretty cool. I actually... This is glass. This is beach glass. You guys, this is tumbled beach glass right here. I'm going to give this to my sister. She collects this tumbled beach glass. And these are glass, too. Nice. Oh, another magnet. And I'll get to keep these magnets and put them on my computer as reminders. Jamaica. No problem. Jamaica. I love it. Oh, this is going to have to go to Thelma. Oh, this is from the 84 Olympics. Maybe I'll sell it. No, I'll give it to Thelma. She likes the USA stuff. Handcrafted cloisonne. Collector pin number 43. Los Angeles, 1984 Olympics. Why are you not focusing? You better focus for my friends. Isn't that cool? See the cloisonne in there? She is going to love that. Is Thelma in here? Why is the chat going like crazy? Hi, Thelma. Look what you're getting after I cop it first. No, I'll send it to you. This is Cloisonne from the 84 Olympics. And then here's this pin that you wanted. I'm sending this one to Denise. And here's a pin of you, Thelma. All I have to do is, is get some nail polish, silver nail polish, and, and dye the, the hair silver. And that's you. And look at this, Thelma. This came out of there. Isn't that gorgeous? I just got to touch up the, the stem. And oh, I'm sending you this too, look. You're just going to have to put some nail polish on there. Okay, guys. I think this is an angel bag. I really do. Oh, look. Oh, it says Sister Michael. Sister Michael Kindergarten. But it's beautiful. They wanted eight bucks for this. It's a beautiful pen. I can see why you wanted this bag. <gasps> this is perfect. It's a little wooden heart, you guys. Look, it's a little wooden heart for Mama. They do? They make them out of soybeans, Erin? Well, I'm sure they, they, oh, a sea bead made a broken sea glass piece. It was nice. I bet it was supposed to be soybeans. I don't want to sell it. You're talking about this? I don't want to sell it. I haven't gotten to Feminist Kitty yet. 
cute little angel ceramic angel and then this little pin a little pearl stick pin yes thank you very much i'll take it i love stick pins hat pins here's another these are all handmade guys these ceramic pieces holding a heart She's holding my heart. Let me see if I can find Feminist Kitty. It was on the bottom, so Thelma would have had an absolute coronary. Here's Feminist Kitty. There it is, Thelma. It's cute. Very, very cute. I have a pile for you, my love. But you're not getting this. Thelma, I'm sending you this. And I said that it was going to end up in your crack lot. But this is what it says. To my friend, the special little angel is being sent your way. I'm not much for surprise. A guardian of goodness to protect you every day. A lovely little angel as precious as can be. A gift of love to someone who means the world to me. <clears throat> See, I'm going to send you that because this was the one of the first things. I think it was the first thing I pulled out of the bag, wasn't it, guys? Well, then you can sell it. Then you can sell it. Oh, I'm crying again, you guys. Residual effects from the gummy. <sighs> Thelma, I got drugged on the bus ride back. Oh, breast cancer awareness tack pin. With a beautiful little pink. Oh, you wanted the flag and everything. Oh, this is cute. It's just a U. How cute is that? Or a horseshoe. Keychain. Jamaica One Love. Jamaica One Love. Have no use for that. Oh, ooh, another. What does it say? Denton, China, made in England. I got another bone china pin. It needs work. It's broken. But the, the petals are barely chipped. Remember the one that I sold in MSP, you guys? This is a bone china pin. <gasps> Look at the back. You guys, I'm telling you, I'm refurbishing my collection with this bag. Thank you, Thelma, for saving it for me. Denton, China. Made in England. These are expensive. These are worth money, but the, the pin part's bent. I'm going to have to very gently bend that back. See how it's bent down? So I've gotten this one now, and I've gotten this one now. Very happy. Look, those were two separate incidences, Vanessa. Okay, I accidentally ate half of a pot cookie that was meant for my dog. My sister and I were eating cookies at her house, and they smoke pot. In fact, my nephew grows it. He's loud. He has a card and everything. And pot's legal in Michigan, so. Um, and she made up some pot cookies for my dog, Rocky, when he had cancer really bad. And we were eating cookies, but we weren't eating the pot cookies. But I, we were eating regular cookies. And um, I had broke off half a cookie and gave it to him. And we were sitting there talking. And I think, I'm pretty sure that I got stoned. 
live on YouTube. And because I think I ate half that cookie, because when I went back and checked the bag, there were no half cookies in the bag. So I'm pretty sure I ate that half cookie, and it hit me like an hour later, live on YouTube. So I did do a good job with that Sharpie, Thelma. Thank you for sticking up for me. And that was that was live with the guys. And so, yeah, I'm not going to chip that one. Oh, a mother's heart reflects God's wondrous love. You guys, I usually don't like, I'm not like a heart person. But then I realized my heart is so full of love, I should be a heart person. Look, a heart for mama. And then on the way home, on the bus ride home, a gal that I got to know at the bus station, we were talking about, I said, yeah, if I could if I could ever try edibles, I would use edibles because they're legal in Michigan. And, you know, she's like, would you like a gummy? And I said, sure, I'll take a gummy. And I took one out of the bag and ate it. I said, oh, that's really good. She goes, you can't even taste the pot in it, can you? And I was like, she gave me an edible. So I've had marijuana twice as an edible in the last three months. But all it did was put me to sleep. Look at this. Well, here's a Puerto Rico pen keychain. But look at this. This is cool. But I think it's supposed supposed to be it's supposed to be a brooch but it's broken it doesn't have any back but that's really pretty look at that you guys that's really pretty i'm gonna have to put a pin through that and put that on my board i love that yeah that's really pretty i usually don't like yellow but i like that Ooh. nope don't like it scratched up Darn it. Otherwise, it'd be really pretty. I think bald women are beautiful. There are women that can really pull off that look. I might be able to get that off with a... I might be able to get that off with a magic eraser without taking the paint and everything off. And then she'll be beautiful. I'm going to try. I don't like that it's dirty. Ooh. This bag was meant for me, Thelma. You know the bags to save for Mama. I'm not even watching the chat. I'm sorry. Hi, Kathy. How are you, honey? Thank you for joining. I would, um, I would have to say yes, because I slept really well. No, I took a Vicodin or a, a Norco because I could barely move. Look at this leaf, you guys. Isn't this pretty? I love the different colors. And the enameling, you know I like enameling. Oh, it's so beautiful. This is a good bag. Oh, look at this. I actually really like um, these pins or these um, keychain things. It says Canterbury. Canterbury. Is that in England? Oh, it's a bottle opener. Always good to have if you need to crack open a beer. Because, you know, I have grip I have grip problems, so I can't always get my twist top off. So if I'm ever out, you know, or whatever, and my husband's not with me, I could probably use that. Aw, you guys, it's white Jesus. Oh, this one's for Thelma. Patriotic. 
I gave you dibs on all the bags in my shopping cart because I had because I had a head start, remember? Yes, I know I could have chosen any bag I wanted. I know that. Did I say something disrespectful? But this is the bag you said, Kelly. I want you to take a bag at least. Take the bag with the cameo. That's what you said. You even though you wanted the cameo. Look at this beautiful. I am putting this on my keys, you guys. I didn't used to like crosses, but ever since Bible study and stuff, I'm warm. I've warmed up to crosses. Now they're positive, not negative. They used to remind me of the pain Jesus went through, but now they remind me that I am worthy. I never used to feel worthy. Isn't that beautiful? And here's the cameo. Oh my gosh. Is it ceramic or oh my gosh, it feels so delicate. Look at it. I'm gonna send this to you, Thelma. Oh my gosh, look how beautiful. I'm sending this to you. Yes, I am. Thelma. <gasps> Nothing happened here. Nothing to look at. No, you can't have it. No. You can't have it. You already have congestive heart failure. You can't have it. Hang on, guys. I have to get a towel. I'll be back. Come on, Scrappy. You don't need to be drinking that. Honey? Yeah. Scrappy's got to stay out here now. I spilled my coffee. I don't want him drinking it. Oh, look at all the big feet. Look at all the big feet. Oh, Thelma, guess what? looking down my shirt not like I wouldn't show you anyway guess what Thelma guess what happened Thelma Thelma are you looking Thelma look my my Starbucks carafe right 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 are you looking, Thelma? Hi, Beth. I love you, too. Look. It's a French press, Thelma. It's a French press. And everybody in the chat voted that I have to keep it. Because, like, I was like, oh, no, this is loose. I, I need to tighten it, right? And so then I went. And I was like. This is a French press. You love, who do you love, Lori? Foot drying the floor, yep. I'm all soaked, but that's okay. I'm not going to make you guys wait while I change or anything. Ooh, look at this one. Look at this one. Oh, Made exclusively for Leah Sophia in China. It doesn't look like there's anything missing either. Look. It's a stocking. Oh, <clears throat> You guys. It's the dove. I just realized when you see a dove with the 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 thing in the mouth, 
it's like representative of Noah's Ark because I was just reading about Noah's Ark in the Bible on uh, Thursday night. And he was talking about the, it's the chronological one. It's the chronological one, the one you're supposed to be able to read in a year. Yeah, the olive branch or the olive twig, olive leaf. It said olive leaf. Yeah, isn't it cute? I could very easily make that a pendant. Oh. You guys, I took out my tester. What I do with it? You guys, what I do with my tester? There it is. Look at this. Oh, it's an earring. I thought it was a brooch, but it's an earring. It's a screw back, though. So the other one's got to be in here. This is different. This is a pendant, an abstract 1970s pendant. And all of the Aurora Borealis stones are here with a yellow stone. This is unique. I don't think I've ever seen anything like this. This has got to be artisan made. Let's check it out. It's very 70s. See so the little yellow stone? But look at the bale, you guys. This is what makes me think. It's artisan. But there's no date or anything inside. But I'm sure it's 70s. Another bone china. I know it's bone china. I can tell now by looking at it. And nothing is chipped. Nothing is chipped. Good pack. Good pack. Yeah, I cried my eyes out when my grandbabies were born, too. And this says, made in England. So, yes, it is bone china. Check it out. I'm replenishing my collection with just this one bag. So, now I've got this piece and this piece and this piece. Woo, woo. Yay. This is a great bag. Another heart. And it's got the dove on it. I think I know what I'm going to do. Like maybe all these pieces right here. Oh, this is an ornament. Duh. I'm going to affix them to one piece. Here's a little angel. Oh, and it says 2000 on it. And there's 2000. Oh, this is totally 80s. Oh my goodness. This is so trepidicular. Oh my god. It's tubular. Trepidicular. It's rad, man. I'm telling ya. So awesome. Totally awesome. JCC McCamby Games Chicago 2015. But I'm keeping this. Look. See the the tram goes back and forth. Ah! <laughs> I love that. Oh wow. This is a nice one, Thelma. Isn't that gorgeous? Wow. 
Jamaica Smile Man. Some Jamaica keychains. A Jamaica flip flop keychain. It'll go with this Jamaica keychain. I'll just lot those up together. Here's another little flag, Thelma. This is an old one because it's got the old C clasp. So they started making these C clasps in the 30s. And they still make C clasps now, but you can tell this is a really old one. I would probably say this is anywhere from the 40s to the 60s. Just by the way this particular one's made. And this says it's broken. But ooh, it's got some pretty Aurora Borealis. It's got some pretty rhinestones. And it's got a pretty piece of Mother of Pearl. But it looks like there was something glued on to the Mother of Pearl. But then there's nothing on the back. The pin part broke off. Oh, these are like military stripes. Aren't those military stripes? Hi, Star. Jude. Ah, they're so cute. They're so cute. Those very, you know, those have to be crystals, you guys. Those are so sparkly. I'm going to have to put those on my tester, but my tester doesn't test for crystals. But if it doesn't test glass, then I'll know they're crystals. Because if I get a piece that's beautiful like this that I know is like glass or whatever, and I test it and it doesn't test glass, then I know it's crystals. That's beautiful. This is a pretty flag, too. Boy, this is really shiny, too. And all of the stones are there. Thelma, since you're here, maybe I'll do my opening from you. My Dooney is here. <gasps> this is cute. And it's got all the stones there. Thumb, I tried to call you earlier. Little angel. My nose itches. Uh, I'm not sure what this is. Is this a note? Like a music note? I'm not sure what that is. Well, that's Boy Scouts, right? This is pretty. Enamel. This is really pretty. They make some, some inexpensively made pins for breast cancer awareness. And this is just mildly pink. This is a really beautifully done one. It's like a little peachy pink. It's really beautifully done. Everyone, that you should do your videos um, side side to side, Vanessa. You should do your videos like this because it gives a a bigger um, platform because if you do it like this you'll see uh, this is how I did my first video peacock so I did my first video on the train was like this and then it's really skinny and it, it has the lines like that that's how you know that you've done it up and down you want to do it side to side like this this is how you want to record see I speak Vanessa Jude Oh, that's nice, Denise. 
Cali Life. So I'll have to wait to the next time I send something to California. This cami is gorgeous. And Vanessa, or um, Thelma, I am sending it to you. So I don't want to hear it. She's probably not even still here because I probably bored her to tears. Oh. An 80s angel bear. Look, it's so cute. Hello, little cute, cute, cute. Hello, Anamora. See, my voice is a lot better now that I've had coffee. Oh, a little heart with purple and pink. That is so cute. Isn't that cute? You have to be closer to the microphone or to the, on your phone. So you either need to have the phone closer to you, Vanessa, or you need to speak up. So, I mean, it's the, it's the volume or the, it's the microphone on your phone that's picking up your sound. So you either need to sit closer or you need to talk louder. One of the two. And I know that wasn't directed towards me, but... Now, here's another one of these. You know what this is, you guys? Remember I got the other one? These are clip earrings without the clip back. That's what these are. See, I got this one. These are clip earrings without the clip back. And this one's missing a couple stones. Aww. Angel. Ha ha. I know what to lock this up with. It's got. Uh, nope, it's in there. Cute little martini. Very sparkly. Focus. Oh, well. It's just so sparkly it won't focus. Yeah. <clears throat> because your house is so open. Aw, oh, praying hands. Ah! L. A little L pin. Oh, little angel, 80s angel with a heart in the middle and her arms open. Ready to hug. Ready to hug Miss Thelma. Yes. Complaining I about broker ribs. Pfft. People would pay for hugs for me. I give good hugs. She's complaining. Mm. So cross. We're down to the nuts and bolts here, guys. One hundred seventy fifth anniversary of the Chicago City Bank. Hi, Kiana. Oh, another little, that's a cat's eye, right, guys? Little angel, that's a cat's eye. See, it looks like it's just right in the middle. Is that what's called a cat's eye? Hi, Maury. If you guys can, can you hit that thumbs up for Mama? This was supposed to go on something. And then I got an earring, little broken earring. Aw, a cute little bunny pin, but it's missing the bottom stone. Thank you, baby. I appreciate that. 
Oh, you guys, I have so got to touch this up. Look at it. It's a dragonfly pen. Hi, Carla. Hi on Rye. That's what it says. A sex a sexy lady saying hi on Rye. Eighty-four proof. I didn't see that until I put it in the camera. And motivate. Motivate Coach, Inspire Guide, Mentor. Check that out. Motivate Coach, Inspire Guide, Mentor. And then we've got a little bell. The pin back is missing, but that's okay. That's pretty. And it just says S-A. I wonder if that's supposed to be a U. No, S-A. Whatever S-A is. I don't know what S-A is. And then we've got the Dove. Almost done. And a little shovel. That's cute for when I transplant my trees. A little shovel. I love it. Oh, look at the little apple. Isn't that cute? And that's it. Oh, and yeah, that's it. A couple pin backs. That's my bag, you guys. And I never found the other screw back to this, but this can just be a pin. I'm going to test that. Yes, I took my tester with me, and I had no shame in my game pulling my tester out. I just told the gal, I said, this is mine. I brought this with me, and she just was like looking at it. What is it? I said, it's a tester. Oh, and then she saw me testing with it. I kind of forgot about it once and left it on the counter, but people probably thought it was for sale, and they didn't touch it or anything. Oh no, I hope I didn't leave it on. If I left it on, my batteries are going to be dead. Well, I'm done anyway, Vanessa. So as soon as I test this, I love you. Have a good day, honey. Now, where's the piece I was going to test? Here it is. Just glass. Just glass. Well, all right, guys. That's my haul. I got some good pieces, y'all. I got some super good pieces. I've got pieces to send to Thelma. Pieces to send to Denise. My nose is itchy. I love this. And I usually don't like yellow. I really like that piece. Bye, Denise. And you guys, I cannot believe I got two bone china. You know, they count for like between 20 and 30 a piece. And I only paid $7 for the bag. And then I got this. Oh, well, like this is the bone china. This bottom one's not. Well, now that I have my loop here, I could read what it says. A D E T M or I M. Adim Ehrman. I can't believe it's a signed piece. The enameling is coming off, but you can get enamel paint. So I got some totally gorgeous pieces and 
You know, if you ever have this kind, these you can change the batteries in these and in all your your loops and stuff, just so you know. Bye, Maggie Doodle. Mwah. Okay, guys. Um, I'm going to get off here because I've taken your time for an hour and 50 minutes already. So I'm going to get off here and go lay down and rest and watch some videos. Because I haven't watched videos in two days. And I absolutely love this. Absolutely. Oh, wait. Thelma, are you still here? Thelma, if you're here, give me a nod. Let's open this. Hi, Em. Oh, she's in the shower? Okay. You want to bead my coin purse. Look at the beading on this, Gianna, and I know that you would do a much better job, but I was thinking about deconstructing this so I could see how you bead because it's on leather. The back of it's on leather. It feels so soft, but look at this, and I know you bead so much better, but I need to learn to bead because it's something I can do with my hands, and I love to, like, sew by hand, plus it keeps, because I've got over... 20 breaks in this hand that didn't heal right back in my younger days when I had a bad childhood and I used to punch trees and punch walls and stuff. Um, so this is from my shop goodwill. Vanessa, are you still here? Yep. Bugle seed beads. Oh, Vanessa, this is that other beautiful diamond chain I don't think Vanessa's here so I got this at Shop Goodwill you guys this is 925 it's got a beautiful box chain and it's 925 and it's diamond this will go in my auction isn't that gorgeous isn't that gorgeous? I bought that at shopgoodwill.com. You can see it shining. Love it. Diamond and marcasite. Look at the look at the chain. I, this is my favorite type of chain because you don't even feel that it's on and it never gets tangled. Yep, heads up for this to go in auction. And also the other one I have that is beautiful, too, this one right here, and I thought these were very similar, ironically. This is the other one I bought with diamonds, and then I thought, oh, they're of similar style. Isn't that funny? But I will be auctioning these in my next auction. At least one. Which I don't know if it'll be Wednesday or not, guys. I'll let you know. I don't know if I'm having one Wednesday or not. But I just got that. Diamond swirl necklace. Beautiful. All right, guys. Ah, I'm going to go. What? Why don't you like diamonds, Dwayne? Or is it Heather? All right, guys. Mwah. Love you. I got to find the mouse. All right. Mwah. Bye, guys. I'm going to go get some more coffee since I spilled mine. <gasps> Laura, are you serious? I didn't know that. I've got a box from him right here. 
from Jerry Whitney right here. I've got to open up. I don't even remember what I ordered. I didn't know that. We're going to have to pray, pray, pray for him. Hi, Jennifer Layton. I'm getting off now. Go back and watch from the beginning, though. Mm -hmm. Hi, Bianca. Mm -hmm. All right, guys. I have got to go get some coffee since I spilled mine all over myself. Maybe I'll wash and use my French press. I have no idea how much coffee to use. I'm going to have to research it. Mm -hmm. Love you guys. Maybe I'll come back later and do a haul of my Jerry Whitney stuff and my Thelma stuff, okay? Aww. Maybe I'll call Becky and ask her. All right, guys. Mwah. Love you guys. Bye. Love you.